I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Capitol building in Sacramento, California. We're going to start right here in the center and we're just going to put a little straight line going down. Now when you do a, a building like this, it's going to be pretty much symmetrical except for this middle section. So we drew our top line, now we draw a little curved line down on the left, little curved line down on the right. Come back to the left, straight line across. Come back to the left, one, two, little straight lines. We're going to come back over here on the left and put a dot because now we're going to draw a big curve line up, over, and down. We come back to the left and we're just going to draw a straight line over, connect. We're going to draw a little curve line out, straight line over, curve line out, in, connect on the right, in, connect on the left. Now we come inside the spaces and just add some little straight lines. And down here on this space, we're just going to add some little squares. And you can put however many you can fit. This isn't going to be exact. Now I start over here on the left. I draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line over, connect. Right underneath I go one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. Underneath that I'm going to draw a straight line going across. Now I come back to the left and I add a straight line going down, connect on the left, straight line going down, connect on the right. Right here in the middle again, we're going to draw straight diagonal out, straight line over, straight diagonal up, connect. We're going to mimic the inside again, straight diagonal out, straight line over, straight diagonal up, connect. Starting over on the left, we're just going to draw a straight line down, leave it floating, come on the right, straight line down, leave it floating. Come midpoint and let's connect, jump over, connect. Now we bring a straight line out on the left, straight line out on the right, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Come back to the left, straight line across. This is our middle. Now we're going to do double lines again. One, two, one, two on the left, one, two. Now do a little straight line, straight line, straight line. That breaks it up a little bit. Jump over, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now we're going to draw, let's come up here and finish this, we're going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, connect, jump over, straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. Now we can draw straight line down, straight line all the way over, straight line up, connect. Now we can finish all of our double lines so everything connects at the bottom. And now we're going to add little straight line down on the left, little straight line down on the right, big straight line across, line up here, put one straight line, line up here, put one straight line. Inside the top, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, 
straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Jump over, do it again, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come over here, we're going to draw a skinny rectangle. One, two, three, you can fit more if you want. Jump over. One, two, three, looks like I can draw one more here. Hello. Four skinny rectangles. Now come down to the very bottom and we're just going to go straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, connect, jump over. Now we can do the middle, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, continue, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. Okay, there is our building, and come over here on the left, and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line off the page, and now a slightly curved line out on the left. Come over here on the right, we're going to draw another wavy, wavy line, slightly curved line, straight line out off the page. What we are drawing now Let's draw a curve line connect over here on the left and a curve line connect over here on the right. Not only did we just draw the state capitol in Sacramento, but we're also doing an art lesson. Foreground, things closest to you. Middle ground, in the mid part, and now the background. Little curve line, curve line. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is color in our foreground, this space, brown, jump over, this space, brown. And our foreground is the part that's closest to us, so you draw it the biggest, but it also starts, starts to frame your picture. Next, I'm using regular green for this space, jump over. Regular green, whoops, for this space. You'll do a better job than me. And then I found another green to do this space right here. So it's interesting when you set up your picture, normally you would think of your building as being in the foreground, but no, it's in the middle ground, it's the middle part. And then finally, taking a regular blue, I'm just going to loop-de-loop -loop around and make my background blue, adding a little bit of texture and a pop of color, but I'm leaving my main drawing alone. And... That's it. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my state capital in Sacramento in California all colored in. We also learned about foreground, middle ground, and background. And if you look at a lot of the other state capitals in our country, they kind of all look like the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. Okay. Bye-bye.